Hello there, my name is Agnieszka Szarkowska and I'm one of the co-founders of AVT Masterclass. In AVT Masterclass, we mainly focus on hands-on practical exercises, but I know a lot of you are interested in actually reading something more. We get a lot of questions from uh, different students, from different people, where I can uh, read more about subtitling. So in this video, I'm going to show you the most important books on uh, subtitling in English. There might be other books out there that are not in English and I'm not going to focus on them today. So let's start with uh, the oldest book uh, that's simply called Subtitling. Um, the first edition was written by Jan Iverson himself and the ultimate, the final version of the book, the newest, you could say, uh, version uh, is uh, written together with uh, Mary uh, Carroll. Both Jan Iverson and Mary Carroll uh, are recipients of the Jan Iverson Award uh, given by ESIS. This book uh, is dated from 1998, so in many respects you may think it's not really up to date, um, but I would say it contains a lot of issues that are still valid today. Pros and cons of dubbing and subtitling, of course. Some fundamental principles of subtitling, such as reading speed, text condensation, um, as well as um, accuracy and the need for quality control. They also talk about line breaks, synchronization, punctuation, other conventions, and uh, a chapter, the last chapter on equipment and tools might indeed not be uh, very useful nowadays, but definitely uh, a book uh, worth looking into. Now, uh, let's move on to uh, what I often call the Bible of subtitling. And actually, I have two of them now because this is the first edition. Uh, it's called uh, Audiovisual Translation Subtitling uh, by Jorge Diaz Cintas and Aline Remal. By the way, they are also recipients of um, the Jan Everson Award. And uh, this book was published back in 2007. It was then accompanied by a, a DVD. But now I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this because I have um, the newer, better edition, or it's actually, it, they've changed it so much that I think it's a fully fledged uh, new book. Um, I think we have to say that. It's called Subtitling Concepts and Practices, published by uh, Rutledge, and uh, it's been uh, prepared in cooperation with UNA and um, WinCup, subtitling software manufacturers, and uh, once you, uh, when you get the book, uh, you get access to some trial versions of, um, um, of these subtitling programs, which I think is pretty cool. And not only that, instead of the DVD, the book now has a companion website uh, with uh, more materials, more exercises. This book is actually uh, great if you are interested in the theory of subtitling and if you're interested in practice. So I think it has a very large audience uh, in mind. So if you're interested in subtitling, this is the book that you need to start with, the book that you need to have. Okay, now uh, let's have a look at this one, Subtitling Norms for Television by uh, Jan uh, Pedersen back uh, from 2011, uh, John Benjamin's um, translation library. It's quite pricey, it doesn't have um, a very uh, sexy title, but I think this book is actually great. Uh, Jan Pedersen is an excellent author, he's very clear and funny, and um, he focuses in this book on translating cultural references. So if this is something you're interested in, and I think, you know, it's like one of the most important issues uh, in subtitling, you should definitely uh, have a look at this book. Um, my personal favorite is chapter four when he um, explains different uh, translation strategies that could be used um, when you come across uh, cultural elements. Um, from uh, retention through generalization to um, omission and substitution. Um, and then uh, there are loads of examples, mostly from Scandinavian languages, but they're back translated into English, so um, uh, that's great. Um, definitely something you may want to have a look at. And these are the most important books on subtitling. Happy reading! <laughs>